And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your friend, Chief Ludes. Happy Sunday, I suppose. Look, it's a Sunday tradition at this point that I try to predict what is coming this week in NBA 2K23, my team. Well, it depends. You could look at it as a tradition, or you could look at it as I'm a hack who just doesn't have any other videos to upload on Sunday. I guess it just depends on your perception of me. I guess I'm like a character from a premium HBO program. You know, I'm open to interpretation, I suppose. But I do like it. I like these prediction videos. They're fun. You know, you never really know. This week's going to be a doozy for my team, by the way, in general. Like, who? After the absolute shite storm that has occurred, basically for the launch of season four in general, uh, it's a pretty important week for my team to kind of tidy some things up. So let's gaze into the crystal ball and let's hopefully we can get things correct. So Monday, tomorrow. Okay, so right off the bat, we're getting some sort of agenda group um, or a spotlight challenge, I'm not really sure, involving a uh, year of the rabbit players. I really have no idea what this is going to look like and, you know, really what it's for at this point. Um, I know it is involving the Lunar New Year event. That's how you get the final takeover event card right here. Um, what that's going to look like and what that's going to be, I'm not sure. I would assume it's probably similar to the season four rewards or the season reward spotlight in some capacity involving year of the rabbit players maybe you can use like multiple versions of them i'm not really sure but we'll see it's obviously going to lock in for that final piece so it's going to be interesting we're also going to be getting a new lunar new year player if you already have sean marion expect a very similar grind i would like it to be more of the kind of holiday event but i would assume the sean marion event is probably closer to what it's going to be like but if they were to do something where it's like the monday tuesday thursday wednesday cards were more similar to the holiday event and then the friday ones were going to be this like kind of big tuesday-esque takeover grind i would be totally okay with that now as far as players that we're likely to see now you can actually look this information up if you're curious um they're going to be nba players that are born in previous years of the rabbit so those years would be 1927 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, just every 12 years, and 1999. So we already had a pretty large portion. We got Marion, obviously, and then we had a bunch of them. All these guys are Year of the Rabbit players, so it's unlikely we're going to see Pink Diamond versions of these guys. So kind of looking at cards we could see, um, we did not get in. We didn't get a Hakeem Olajuwon so in this set so that leads me to believe it's possible that we get a hakeem um which would make total sense too because obviously we got the clutch time online reward of hakeem olajuwon so i actually wouldn't be shocked to see an essentially identical copy or a worse version of hakeem dropping at this point um my most likely person that i think is going to be the pink diamond card tomorrow is actually chris mullen um, the reason I say Chris Mullen is it just makes so much sense. And he wasn't a part of the like set that we got. So Chris Mullen would make a whole lot of sense. Plus, he's one of the bigger name players that we have left. It's like him, Ray Allen, Allen Iverson. These are guys we could very easily see. I'm going to stick with Chris Mullen. I'm kind of feeling him for sure. He makes the most sense to me anyway. That's how I feel. Or John Morant. John Morant's another one as well. Um, so I would assume that we'll be seeing a pink diamond. I'm going to say Chris Mullen or Bob McAdoo for tomorrow, and then I would assume we'll see some of the other guys later. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, they could revert back to the kind of Tuesday takeover grinds for a player, and I would assume that's kind of where a bigger name is going to be, you know, someone like any of the guys that I just mentioned. Um, honestly, wouldn't be shocked to see Luca in here either. Luca is a Year of the Rabbit member, and he's not really that great in 2K this year, so they could easily just rehash his pink diamond card from a few weeks ago. Uh, we could see that. I've seen a lot of speculation, by the way, because Bull Bull and Izak Banga are Year of the Rabbit guys. I really do not think Bull Bull will ever be an agenda guy. I really just think Bull Bull is a pack seller at at his core. So I don't think we're going to be getting a reward version. But I'm just going to name five guys that I think are going to be uh, Year or Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit rewards for this week. Okay. Those guys are, at least in my opinion, I'm going to say Cam Reddish, 
just because why not? Let's say Cam Reddish, Chris Mullen. Um, I'm going to go with Hakeem Olajuwon, though that might be too big of a name, but I'm going to say Hakeem Olajuwon just for sure. Keith Van Horn. No, we got Keith Van Horn already. Yeah, he's in the select set, so not Keith Van Horn. Wait, is Hakeem in the select set? I actually don't know if he is. Let me, let me check. That This is going to make a lot. No, but Bobby Jones is. That sucks, dude. Okay. So either way, um, I'm going to go Charles Oakley on one of these two because he actually just makes a lot of sense in that regard. Like, he's not very good, and he'd be kind of the perfect player for them to drop a pink diamond on. And then we'll say Bob McAdoo at the very end or Bob McAdoo or John Moran, someone of that nature. I'm also going to say Walt Bellamy at some point. I know they have the rights to Walt Bellamy. So I would assume that Walt Bellamy comes at some point, right? Like, wait, he's not on here. He's on the all-time teams, though, but he's not searchable through my team. So it's possible that maybe they're not doing Walt Bellamy, which would suck. I've been wanting this card. Oh, my God. Anyways, doesn't matter. Tuesday, we don't get an additional takeover grind. Obviously, this is taking the place of the takeover grind, so I'm not really sure. Tuesday is another big day, too, because we get to see if the return of Tuesday packs is back or if they're going to drop more super packs. And uh, unfortunately, I have to guess that they're probably going to do super packs again. Um, but I would really, really like they would be foolish to do that. Um, that being said, I can't say for certain that they won't. So I'm hoping for new packs. Obviously, something themed would be great. I mean, we saw the return of Flight School with like a Dunkers theme pack. So it'd be cool to see like theme packs back. But uh, if they're going to do Tuesday packs again, like if they're coming back, they're going to come back in the same fashion. They were probably in season one and season two, where it's like some sort of overarching theme throughout the entirety of the season. Uh, whether that be it's just wild in season two, we got a whole set of glitch cards every tuesday and then season three we just got super packs that's that's wild and the shades of set was cool too i would assume it's something like that but i wouldn't be shocked to see super packs is what i'm saying that's kind of the best and most articulate way that i can explain that what else we're going to get on tuesday i'm not really sure possibility that we get a moments card here or there i just i don't know though like i don't know if they're going to be doing that i mean a lot of people have been saying that moments of the month is coming back but it's uh it's not looking good personally but julius randall just dropped 42 points so it's possible we see young julius out here this week it's very possible as a matter of fact scotty barnes had a good game jordan clarkson had a huge game i wouldn't be shocked to see him jonas faust had 33 points in a game with 16 rebounds wouldn't be shocked to see a moments card for him either honestly i would not be mad at Jonas Valchunas. Valchunas is actually pretty solid this year and he's huge. Yeah, or Kuzma. These are all guys we could very easily see for sure. Christian Wood had another couple of big games as well. So these are all moments cards that we could potentially see this week. Whether they actually do them, I'm not sure. Uh, then we got Wednesday. Moments of the week is coming back. I would assume it's going to be similar where it's another option pack like you can get a centerpiece. You can get a Hoff badge or a Hoff badge. That would be my assumption. It's probably not going to change very much. Um, all the players I just mentioned uh, could very easily get moments challenges. I would say it's a high probability that Luka Doncic has some sort of challenge um, just based on how well he's been playing. I don't really try to speculate on the challenges. They're kind of just meh at this point. Expect that Jordan Clarkson challenge, though. Like, if we don't get a moments Jordan Clarkson, expect a Jordan Clarkson related challenge for sure, 100%. That's going to mean his little glitch card over here is going to explode in value for a small portion of time. Now, should you go preemptively buy one for 10K? No, but, you know, just kind of understand that that's going to happen. Obviously, we're getting another takeover card that day or Lunar New Year, whatever it's called. So, you know, stay tuned on that. Thursday, we have a moments related challenge, um, which will be interesting. Um, so we have the Killian Hayes challenge that they talked about in the blog. So it allows us to get like a moment's Killian Hayes. And then if he produces well in the in the France game, he gets Evo to a diamond. That's cool and all. If they continue to do moments weekly in that regard, like if we get uh, three of those challenges per week, let's say even two, I think that'll make the season a lot better. So we'll see kind of how they handle this. I don't know. I mean, from what it sounds like, it's just going to be a challenge. You know, you beat the team they're playing against um, being that it happens before the actual moments game 
you know, there's no stat line that you need to meet necessarily, so that's going to be all right, but you just need to use a certain player. I don't know how they're going to handle it. It's just my speculation. So, yeah, that'll be fun, I guess. I, I suppose. I don't know. I have no idea. Friday, now if they do change the grinds for the uh, Lunar New Year players, Friday will be back to like what this Sean Marion was, though I assume that's going to be like every day. It's going to be very similar to that. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out, but you know, it is what it is. Friday content is going to be another make or break content. I think Flight School was okay. Like, people were, were a little hard on the actual Flight School promo because the content for the season was all recycled slash trash. So I think people were a little bit harder on this promo than they probably normally would have been. Uh, the promo's not that horrible. It's just, like, very meh. So I don't know. I feel like we're... I mean, maybe we'll get something good. I don't know, though, truly. I mean, looking at seasons past, Fire started out really good, and then we got kind of a mid-promo in Ice. So, man, season two, Ferocious was awful, but then we got Nightmare, so I don't know. Season one, like, we got Limitless, which was cool, uh, and then we got Intensity, which was man. So I would assume they kind of go every other one with, like, if content's kind of meh, or if content's fire. Um, even when you look at, like, main event, like, main event was kind of mad. Magic just happened to be way more cracked than he should have been. So, I would assume that this content's going to be fire. Now, is it going to be fire at the level of, like, Flash Forward? I don't think so. Um, I would assume that it's probably going to be a little bit more tame. I would say something like Fireworks would be more kind of what it's going to be like. There's going to be a couple guys who are really, really good, and then a couple guys that are just kind of, man, they exist, you know? What it's going to be, I don't know. There seems to really be no theme to the season content from like a you know, from a thematical standpoint like there was fire but then there was ice but it wasn't ice like like natural ice it was ice like diamonds and then zen and then tis the season and then fireworks so it's just kind of like all over the place um this one had a bit of a theme for a little bit with like ferocious nightmare pioneers and dreamer and then they went over here transcendent main event like i guess it's kind of a theme but if they keep it in like a statistical theme or like a ability theme like there's flight school and there's like a three point shooting set and like a defender set that would be cool but i honestly don't know you know who could be coming or what we would be getting in general um i would assume that a center is coming at some point like being that they're giving away demar Derozan and people are getting tim thomas it wouldn't shock me at all to see an updated kareem pull out like they're gonna try to get some vc coming through you know some vc purchases probably are you know coming through very soon so i would assume that like a, a kareem um a wilt chamberlain would make a lot of sense someone like that that just hasn't gotten a card in a bit Kawhi is someone that i've said for a while i think is coming so i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as far as for friday content if you have any specific guys that you want to see in the year of the rabbit takeover like do comment those down below because there's like a bunch of guys i would love to see like there's cards we're not gonna see like realistically are we gonna see uh well yeah we could very easily see jason white chocolate williams actually yeah for sure but are we gonna see like a pink diamond uh michael oluwakandi probably not i would be excited well i guess we can find out can't we is he in here he oh it's very likely we see michael olubakandi i see you i see you michael olubakandi the candy man might pull up in my team which will be hilarious um i've checked greg ostertag was not um, born in any of these years unfortunately so it's unlikely we'll see him rashawn mcleod like guys like that like yeah obviously random dudes i'm gonna be stoked about i would like to see them but are they actually gonna i don't know man you know it's it's tough to say like, I would like to see a pink diamond, like, Ekpe Udo, or, like, James Johnson, for no reason, or, like, Hashim the Beat. Like, that would be sick, but Jafaris Crittenden, you know, realistically, we're not going to see these guys, but if there's anyone born in the year of the rabbit, you know, 99, 87, 75, 63, 51, 39, 1927, if you're a super old head, you know, like, borderline shouldn't even be a live old head, then yeah, comment those guys down below. As always, have a good day, man.